Well, congratulations to the New Albany Symphony Orchestra. It is their 10th anniversary year, and with us is the founder and executive director, Heather Garner, back on the program. And Heather, uh, thanks for coming back in again. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Uh, an exciting time, 10 years. Yes, it is. It, it went by very quickly, uh, but we are celebrating in a big way uh, for our 10th year anniversary. Now, take us back 10 years ago. And tell us about the origins of the New Albany Symphony Orchestra and uh, how you got it going. Oh, gosh. Well, so 10 years ago in New Albany, the Gene B. McCoy Community Center for the Arts was being built. And I'm a resident there in New Albany. And I'm a classical music uh, lover. I I play the viola. um, And I knew that the hall was going to need an orchestra. So I chatted with some people uh, about about that idea. The community seemed to love it. And gosh, lo and behold, uh, a, a small group of people came together, um, some friends and colleagues. We called on quite a few favors in that first year. Uh, we had a little series, a little audience, uh, but an orchestra emerged. And 10 years later, we are uh, really uh, just... Very excited to to see the, the growth and uh, the support from the community and and uh, yeah it's it's been quite a ride. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I saw on your website that there have been more than fifty concerts now uh, at the McCoy Center. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back, um, it's hard to believe all that has transpired in just ten years. But um, yeah, we've had a lot of a lot of support, uh, a lot of volunteer help. Um, just just a real rally to support this this great uh, orchestra in the community. When it comes right down to it, I, I guess the, the, the whole basis is the musicians themselves and uh, the beautiful music they make. Uh, tell us about who are your musicians? Sure. So the New Albany Symphony is made up of uh, kind of a u- unique model. Uh, it incorporates professionals. Uh, they act as mentors to our student musicians that are in the orchestra. And then we also have a group of uh, community players, so lots of lawyers and doctors and people that maybe had a music degree or um, enjoyed music as a hobby now have a platform and a place to perform. So, And uh, I know that a lot of what you do is outreach to the community and helping students and helping in education. We do. Uh, we do quite a few um, things in the schools. Uh, also, the, the orchestra itself, uh, we have a young artist program, which allows um, very young students to perform on stage with the orchestra uh, to have a little taste of of being part of it. So we do have a strong education mission for sure. Well, I think it's interesting, uh, you know, celebrating your 10th anniversary for a a city the size of New Albany to to support a group like this is, it's, it's unique. It is unique. And I'll tell you, you know, in the first year that we started uh, the New Albany Symphony uh, back in 2008, during the recession, I might add, uh, we had $70,000 of in-kind given to us that year just with people in the community saying they wanted to help. Uh, it was it was really nice to see that um, from our community. And that's really, that's, that's, New Albany is known for that, I think, uh, just really coming together to help. Our guest on the program today is the executive director of the New Albany Symphony Orchestra, Heather Garner. And uh, Heather, your website where people can get more information about the New Albany Symphony. Sure. It's newalbanysymphony.com. That's pretty easy to remember, isn't it? Can you get tickets there as well? Uh, You can, yes. You can get tickets uh, through the website or uh, Ticketmaster, uh, ticketmaster ticketmaster.com. Also, the phone number is uh, 614-469. 0939. That's the Kappa box office number. Oh, easy way to get tickets uh, to the New yeah. Albany Symphony. So uh, here it is, your uh, 10th anniversary season. Uh, talk a little bit about, I know the next thing you have coming up is in December. Right. So we opened up uh, just this last October, October 15th, with Blanca Beethoven and the Ballet. Uh, we brought in uh, Blanca Uribe, a uh, uh, very well known pianist. We worked with uh, um, New Albany Ballet with something that was choreographed on, on stage, the Ponchielli Dance of the Hours. And uh, next up for us is actually our holiday spectacular on December 17th. Um, 
that's always a sellout. Actually, I think we're almost sold out. So uh, if, you, if you're wanting tickets for that, make sure to get online uh, pretty quickly. Uh, Part of that performance includes our famous gift basket fundraiser, which Mm -hmm. is set up in the lobby. Uh, It's about 35 baskets that are donated by lots of um, different groups in the community. And uh, it's always a very festive event. Um, So during the Holiday Spectacular, we've got uh, uh, our very own center stage singers, New Albany's uh, children's Choir. And we are also featuring uh, some members of Opera Columbus on that on that program. So uh, always a festive day in New Albany on December 17th at the McCoy Center. It's uh, one of those events that I'm sure for some have become sort of a family tradition. It's definitely a tradition. I think people um, kind of starts the holiday uh, season for them. So, And then uh, after that, uh, your next uh, big event is coming up in March. Right. We've got... Um, so in March, we feature our student concerto winner. So uh, we're actually accepting applications um, now for the student concerto competition, which will happen in January. And once we uh, go through all those auditions, uh, we pick a couple winners, and they perform on our March concert, Lions, Tigers, Bears, Oh My. So we'll have our concerto winners on that performance, and we will also uh, be featuring Orle Alonzo and Susan Newcomb, uh, two pianists here in the in the community. They will be our soloist for Carnival of the Animals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, is that uh, more based for children? or It's our family concert, so it's what we okay. call our family concert. Yeah, we see lots of kids kids at this one. Mm-hmm. Taking kids to see something like this, is it's an experience not only for the parents to see their reactions, but it stays with them forever. It does. It does. Uh, music is like that, and uh, I know my son has been to Carnival of the Am- Animals many times, Peter of Peter and the Wolf, too, and he even loves listening to the the music before bed. Uh, It's just um, a familiar and uh, good way to um, expose your kids to classical music, for sure. And again, that's coming up on? Uh, That one is on March 11th. March 11th, Mm -hmm. and that's a 3 p.m.? Concert time. Right. And uh, Jim Ganahl will actually be narrating the Colonel of the Animals for us, our good friend Jim Ganahl. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and uh, uh, all of these performances, by the way, are at the uh, McCoy, at the McCoy, Center, McCoy mm-hmm. Center in New Albany. Okay. And then, uh, boy, a uh, big spectacular for your anniversary celebration. Uh, yeah. You've got, well, he's not only a national favorite, but a, certainly a local favorite. Right. Uh, Michael Feinstein's coming right. in. Right. We are so excited to be collaborating with the McCoy uh, series on the Michael Feinstein concert. Um, we wanted to do something big for our 10th anniversary, and I think we nailed it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's going to be a really exciting uh, weekend in New Albany, um, you know, being able to host an artist of this caliber. So we're look, looking forward to it. And is that, um, those are special perform? Is it just one performance again? There's a one p- performance uh, mm-hmm. on Sunday at 3 p.m., mm-hmm. May and 6th. A, a May 6th. Mm-hmm. And uh, tickets available yet for that? Tickets are available. Uh, single tickets are on sale uh, right now. And uh, they're 45 to $65 each. Um, available on Ticketmaster.com or by calling 614-469-0939. Can you buy uh, tickets for the entire series for, for for the rest of the season? Right. All all single tickets are on sale now. Our subscriptions, uh, because we started our first concert already, uh, you know, those, those, that is passed. But okay. singles are all, all on sale now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, t- talk now a bit, little bit about Saturday at the Symphony. Uh, what, what are those about? Sure. So... Saturday, Saturday at the Symphony is our sensory friendly series. Uh, three years ago, we tested out uh, the idea of doing a sensory friendly concert uh, with the New Albany Symphony. And sensory friendly just means it's a relaxed environment. So this is a, an environment where anything goes, really. Uh, you can feel comfortable to get up, move around, bring in, um, you know, some some things that you need. Maybe it's maybe it's earplugs or or headphones or an iPad or um, a piece of candy. Uh, anything goes. No one's going to, to say that you're making too much noise or you're talking or uh, it's a it's a place that's where um, 
kids on the spectrum, maybe folks with dementia or Alzheimer's, uh, maybe young young kids with the wiggles. Uh, it's a great time to expose kids to music, and music is such a wonderful therapy. Um, it's a relaxing uh thing for for many uh, families and we just wanted to create a a space and an environment where they would feel welcome and you have uh two more of those coming up right we do uh so we have our um carnival the animals sensory friendly performance happening on march 10th Mm -hmm. Uh, it's about a 45 minute show the lights stay on um we have lots of activities in the lobby uh, crafts and the loft violin shop is there. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice relaxed environment for, uh, maybe even first time concert goers. And Santa and the symphony on December 16th. Oh yeah. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that one. So that, that is uh, actually coming up pretty quickly. Um, yeah, Santa and the symphony on December 16th. Um, we even have a sensory friendly Santa that's going to be there. Um, but that will be a lot of holiday tunes, uh, again, uh, about 45 minutes, and uh, all tickets are just $8 at the door. So, And I know that the, the, the concept of the sensory-friendly performances has uh, garnered a lot of attention for the New Albany Symphony, and uh, it, it's, a, it's an interesting idea, and a lot of people have been talking about it. Yeah, you know... Um, when I created this series, I I was thinking about um, some family members, some some friends uh, that that really didn't come to the concerts because maybe they made a little too much noise, or they didn't think that the atmosphere was for them. Mm-hmm. And we just really wanted to break that barrier because music is really for everyone. And I think we've done a really good job of making people feel very comfortable coming to our concerts. Um, yeah, so this is actually the third year that, that we've done this. Uh, we received a PNC Arts Alive grant uh, for it. And, you know, with with that funding, we've really been able to develop the program and, and get it off to a great start. Our guest on the program today is the executive director of the New Albany Symphony Orchestra, Heather Garner. And uh, it's newalbanysymphony.com is the website address if right. you want more information about their upcoming performances. Uh, I know that... Uh, no art, arts organization can survive without a lot of support from a lot of people and organizations. Who are some of the uh, organizations that, that really help out the New Albany Symphony? Oh, gosh. There are a number. We are a grassroots organization, so uh, it takes a village, and we have one. Um, some of our big supporters, of course, are the community, New Albany Community Foundation, uh, the City of New Albany, the Columbus Foundation, the Ohio Arts Council. Uh, you know, it's, it's just... Um, a lot of of community members that that have really allowed us to succeed. Um, some of our big supporters this this season, um, of course, Huntington, uh, the Rains Group, Mendoza Company, uh, Martin and Lynn Redgrave are some of our big concert sponsors uh, for this year. Limited Brands, you know, it's I could go on and on and on and on. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of these off the top of my head. Um, and I, we really value uh, uh, every single donor that we have. Um, yeah. So. And you have uh, you have donor events as well for we folks who uh, who want to help you out. We do. We just had a lovely wine soiree. Actually, our very first one um, at the home of Irv and Karen Dennis. It was it was a beautiful event for our thousand and up donors. Uh, we did a nice wine tasting. Uh, let's see. Coming up, we have. Um, our, our our Kentucky Derby Gala, actually, May 5th. Uh, this is an event. Uh, I've always wanted to do a Kentucky Derby Gala, and it, it happened to, to fall at just the right time uh, for our 10th anniversary. We're actually doing it at an equestrian, equestrian estate just eight miles from New Albany, a beautiful uh, home, horse, a beautiful horse farm. Uh, we've got big screens that are going to show the, the derby. Uh, we're going to uh, have a swing band, a live swing band, um, and just a very festive uh, 10th anniversary celebration. This is actually complimentary to our 500 and up donors, and uh, you can purchase tickets on our website uh, for $50 each. And there may be a mint julep or two. There may be. Maybe. <laughs> And you have a, a post-concert 10th anniversary reception as well. We do. We always have a uh, 
at kind of a toast um, uh, to, to the to the year. So yes, it's a it's a nice event for donors to uh, just come together and celebrate the season. Uh, do you work any with the uh, New Albany schools? We do. Um, usually, when we have guest artists come come into town, uh, we try and we try and get in the schools for sure. Um, whether mm-hmm. that's a performance just in the orchestra classroom, or uh, many times uh, bringing kids into the McCoy Center to uh, to hear that guest. Yeah. Um, our guest today is uh, Heather Garner, executive director of the New Albany Symphony Orchestra, celebrating their tenth anniversary season. And I'm going to ask you to pull out your crystal ball and, and say what's what's coming up. What do you see for the future, the next 10 years for the New Albany Symphony? Oh, the next 10 years. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> You're just trying to get through the 10th year, right? Uh, so. No, I mean, we're always thinking about the future and and how it looks for, for the New Albany Symphony. Uh, you know, as we grow and... and um, and become more and more successful in the community. I, I always hope to offer um, double performances uh, instead of just our single performance. Uh, as we sell out the halls, mm-hmm. uh, we want to make sure that we're accommodating you know everyone that we can uh, that want, wants to come to the concert. So that's definitely on the horizon. I, I think just you know more collaborations. I'm always I'm always hoping for more collaborations with 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 all the arts organizations in the city. Um, we we worked with New Albany Ballet uh, just this last October, and it was such such a wonderful thing to be able to feature these fine young dancers. And I, I really hope to be able to do that again, uh, maybe even next season. So, so uh, uh, once again, uh, we're in the midst of the tenth anniversary season. Still, some terrific uh, performances coming up uh, in December and then in the spring as well. So, uh, again, the website and then how people can get tickets. Sure. The website that you can um, check out and get get more information is www.newalbanysymphony.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, tickets you can get through our website. Uh, it'll link you up to Ticketmaster.com, or uh, you can call the Kappa box office at six one four four six nine zero nine three nine. And uh, the ticket prices, I know, there's a wide range, and and some are very affordable. Yeah. Our Saturday at the Symphony uh, series, those are all $8 general admission at the door uh, the day of the performance. I believe the box office opens about an hour before the performance. And those performances are all at 1130. Uh, I hadn't mentioned that. Um, Our Holiday Spectacular concert coming up, uh, you can get a ticket under $24. So I think that's the highest price ticket. Um, Let's see. Then we've got March nine to twenty dollars for Lions, Tigers, Bears. Oh my! And then the Feinstein tickets are forty five to sixty five dollars each. Very yeah. affordable. Yeah, that's fantastic. And and I know that uh, I know the music director was planning on coming today. He couldn't make it. He's in rehearsals. He's in a rehearsal. Yeah, he's a busy guy, Luis Piava. Tell me about him. Oh my goodness. So Luis Piava, um, I can tell you a story about Luis. <laughs> uh, twenty years ago, about twenty years ago, I I. Um, Got a job with the Columbus Symphony, and it was always a dream of dream of mine to play there. Even as a little person, I had I'd actually come to see the Christmas Carol at the Ohio Theater in the sixth grade. Mm-hmm. And I remember sitting in the Ohio Theater thinking, I want my job to be a musician in the Ohio Theater. I mean, I just love that, that theater. And uh, so my first day at the symphony, I walked backstage, um, and I was pretty nervous, actually, you know, my... My dream had come sure. true, and I uh, walked backstage, and this guy, Luis Biava, who I had watched, um, you know, as a younger person on stage, the principal of the, the the Columbus Symphony, came up and introduced himself. Hello, my name is Luis Biava. You're new here. You're welcome. And he's such this lovable um, Latin Latino. He's from Colombia. You know, everyone is part of his family. Uh, he's just the the nicest guy. And and uh, I think he's very well loved in the Columbus community, of course. Um, so when I had the idea to, to start the orchestra, he's also a, a fine conductor. So when I had the idea about um, starting the New Albany Symphony, he was really the very first person I went to to talk about you know how to structure it and organize it. Uh, he, of course, agreed to to conduct, and I think it's one of the best decisions the symphony has made. He just he um, he really 
gives a feeling of family to, to not only the musicians, but also our audience and our volunteers, our donors, uh, and, and just a great family atmosphere at every single one of our concerts. Again, the website is newalbanysymphony.com, and our guest on the program today has been the executive director and founder of the New Albany Symphony, Heather Garner. And uh, Heather, congratulations on your 10th anniversary, and uh, good luck in the future, and stop back and uh, tell us more again some other time. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'd love to.